Today I'm going to teach you how to unlock Ether Crystal Camo super fast in the brand new Undead Siege. With this method you can at least unlock Ether Crystal Camo for 8 guns in just one match. And this works best if you grind camo solo. Which means no communicate with other teammates, you cannot share your loadouts, basically if you are someone with no friends. <coughs> Well, I'm just kidding. Now, strictly this video is not about dealing the highest damage or killing more zombies or anything like that. This is strictly for unlocking Ether Crystal Camos as fast as you can. Of course, there might be some people who score 250 gun kills, but you gotta find out how many guns they use actually. Now, before we get into the interesting stuff, I want you guys to know how many kills you need from a given weapon type. So, for assault rifles, submachine guns, and light machine guns, you need 25 kills in one match. For pistols, you need 15 kills. Shotguns, you need 12 kills. And for marksmen and sniper rifles, you just need 8 kills. You have to remember this. Let's get into the loadouts. In the brand new Undead Siege, they have updated the ground loot and airdrop weapons. The ground loot and airdrop weapons right now are CBR4, Odin, EM2, LK9, 50GS, Dingo, QQ9, AK47, AK117, Out Law, Switchblade, DLQ33, HVK30, Peacekeeper, CX9, CR56 or Max, M30, FFAR1, Holger 26, Hades, Fennec, PP19 Bison, HS0405, KRM262, R90, SPR, RPD, Kilo141, Jack12, Ace12, Grow556, Creek6, and finally Chopper. Now there are 30 plus ground loot and airdrop weapons. And there's no point of putting these in your loadouts because eventually you will find them somewhere in the map and also it will be less boring if you find something that you never expected so skip these weapons and use other weapons in loadouts the combo that worked best for me is one assault rifle or submachine gun two snipers one marksman rifle and most importantly a shotgun that's basically your five loadouts the next question is what is the order of these weapons how are you going to get these loadouts out to make things easier for you, I have divided this video into days and nights. In day 1, you have no choice but to use ground loot weapons. The ground loot weapons you will find in day 1 are Fennec, CBR4, LK9, 50GS and QQ9 mostly. Here's a bonus tip. You can get 3 times more ether essence if you drive over zombies. Now it doesn't matter how you kill these zombies, make sure you loot everything. I mean everything. Every upgrade material and ammo type. Especially shotgun ammo that will come handy in later rounds and you will see how in day one night since these ground loot weapons are available for everyone maybe you have camos for them already if you do allow other teammates to kill regular zombies you can use the wrench and get rid of wardens but remember you have to loot everything that drops on the ground Moving on to day 2, now you have plenty of time and plenty of ether essence. This is the best time to use both your snipers. That's right, both of your snipers. That's because you just need 8 kills for each sniper. Quickly get the load out, but remember don't waste your ammo because your sniper ammo is very rare. That is exactly why we pull these loadouts right now. Now when you kill zombies with the first sniper, you will collect enough ether essence to buy the second sniper. So like this, you can finish your grind for snipers. Day to night is not hard either. So make sure you upgrade your turrets and collect more and more ether essence. At the end of day to night, you will be able to get another loadout. And this time what you should pick is your assault rifle or the submachine gun. During day 3, you can use this assault rifle or the submachine gun. Go to a zombie crowded area and get as much as kills you can. Also in these areas, you will find more ground loot weapons. If you didn't find anything, try looting airdrops. You will definitely find another ground loot weapon. At day 3 night, make sure you finish 25 kills for both of your guns. You already have your loadout submachine gun or the assault rifle and also the ground loot weapon you picked up during day 3. So try to finish this within this round. Moving on to day 4, pick up a marksman. For marksmen, you just need 8 kills. But also you can use marksman to complete side quests easily. Especially something like if you want to kill the butcher or destroy the crystal like this. And when you are done with that and when you score 8 kills replace it with another ground loot weapon also you will have plenty of time left in day 4 within this time try to get as much as kills you can for the ground loot weapon you picked up 
moving on to day four night now things get a little bit hard but here you should finish required kills for both of your guns in day five immediately go to air drops try to find new weapons and within day five try to finish the required kills for any weapon you pick up because in day 5 night, your main focus should be to finish the match, not to grind camos. Because if you lose in day 5 night, you lose everything. To make sure you are not losing it, you have to pull the shotgun out. And here's why. Now the truth is, it really doesn't matter how many turrets you have and how helpful your teammates are. With this method, the hard mode will not be hard anymore. Use the shotgun against necromancers and heavy gunners. Heavy gunners are the ones who deal the maximum damage to the control tower. But the Necromancers, they help heavy gunners by reducing damage you deal to them. In the next section, I will explain it more to you. But right now, just use the shotgun. This is why I told you to collect as much as shotgun ammo as you can. Now, when you have 100 or more shotgun ammo, you have already won. And also, always aim for the head. That's really important. Let's say if you run out of shotgun ammo, don't worry, you have enough essence. Buy the shotgun again from the vending machine. Now, a lot of people don't know about this, but there's a priority of killing zombies. You don't just kill every zombie you see. Although the heavy gunners are the hardest ones to kill and deal the highest damage to the control tower, the most dangerous zombie, in my opinion, is necromancers. Because they can reduce the damage you deal to other zombies. So whenever you see necromancers, kill them first. By now, you should at least know why they appear to be highlighted over the other zombies all the time. Just finish necromancers first and then go to heavy gunners. Here is the priority order in my experience. Necromancer, heavy gunner, pulverizer, igniter, belcher, husmut, warden, hound and the regular zombie. Now here's another tip. Now the reason why I told you to use shotguns in later rounds is that they deal massive damage at once. Now when they are halfway damaged by your other teammates or the turrets, with just one shot from a shotgun, you can score the kill. I know it's more like stealing kills but can't help it. Although you just need 12 kills with the shotgun, I would mostly kill the necromancers and heavy gunners. And occasionally the polarizers. The loadout combo I have shown you at the beginning of this video are for newbies. Which means you haven't unlocked ether crystal camo for any guns. And you need to do it faster. Now if you do have unlocked ether crystal camo for many guns already, still I suggest you to keep a shotgun with you another good alternative is the shorty it also deals massive damage and it works pretty good against heavy gunners the final bonus tip if you have the wrench wrench rig you can teleport to the control tower from any place in the map for an example, when the control tower is shifted to another place or teleported to another place, you can quickly go there, upgrade your turrets and loot nearby airdrops. For me, that has been a massive help for grinding camos, but without the range range rig, you can do that. Just that it is so fun with that range. And that's my simple guide for you to unlock either crystal camo as fast as you can. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon. Watch my other videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.